If you voted for change in Alberta, you aren't getting it. You're getting so much more of the same. A new report from the CBC shows that Rachel Notley, in her very first year, spent as much on her office, staff and travel combined as Alison Redford did in her most extravagant year. Alison Redford spent $340,000 in 2012, 2013. Rachel Notley spent $339,000 in her first year. To be exact, Notley only spent $1,007.03 less than Alison Redford did in her most outrageous and wasteful year. Rachel Notley spent more on office expenses, but less on travel than Redford. Of course, Notley should spend less on travel. Unlike Redford, she lives in Edmonton. She represents an Edmonton riding. She only has a 20 minute commute to work instead of a three hour commute. But don't worry, those savings and travel are being wasted the way we'd expect the NDP to waste it, by moving NDP rejects from other provinces here to Alberta to work. The Premier's office spent nearly $80,000 relocating NDP refugees like Marcella Monroe from BC and Brent Dancy from Manitoba to Alberta to work. Rachel Notley obviously believes no Albertans could possibly do those jobs. Remember how outraged we Albertans all were by Alison Redford's spending. And we were truly outraged. She abused the government planes, using them like her own personal minivan. She flew around her daughter and her daughter's friends. She used them to go to partisan progressive conservative events and even booked fake passengers on the planes to skirt the rules about using the government fleet. Redford hired a team of partisan communication staff to troll and abuse Albertans online. She is the premier who built Sky Palace, the opulent hideaway atop the federal building with an apartment for her and her daughter. Redford's outrageous spending was a symptom of the progressive conservative rot and entitlement in Alberta. Her spending scandals and abuse of the taxpayers finally drove her out of office. And honestly, Alison Redford committed her gluttony in a time when Alberta was in far better financial shape than we are right now. But what about Rachel Notley? She's moving in failed NDP cronies from all over the country at an expense to us, the taxpayer. She's paying an army of trolls called issues managers to the tune of a million dollars per year to run around with voice recorders and eavesdrop on journalists doing interviews on the legislature rotunda. Alberta can afford this spending even less than we could when Alison Redford was the boss. But where is the outrage from Alberta taxpayers? Where is the internal outrage from the NDP drones in the NDP caucus? Now, I'm hard on the progressive conservatives. They spent way too much of my money and treated Albertans with such disrespect. And they got the downfall they absolutely deserved. But the PCs did stage an internal revolt against Redford. There were some MLAs in that PC caucus for either moral or just simply self-preservation reasons that stood up to Redford and her out of control spending. Now, does Notley have the same caucus revolt on her hands? No, she has a bunch of mindless NDP bots who shuffle along and parrot the leader. They sort of remind me of Roomba vacuum robots, but politicians just going around, bumping into walls and sucking up taxes. Albertans took up our social media pitchforks and our torches against Redford and left her no choice but to quit. Even the media was critical of Redford's waste and opulence. Where are they now? They're all but silent on something that should be a major scandal. It took four decades for the PCs to get to the level of waste and entitlement that the NDP are at in a single year. Imagine what this is going to look like three years from now. This is not going to end well. For the Rebel.media, I'm Sheila Gunn-Reed. Thanks for watching. Click here to never miss a Rebel update. Want even more of the Rebel? Well, click here to become a premium member.